along these lines, and one of the things that troubles me <coughs> is the pageant messages themselves, because it seems to me that over the years, I mean, they were channeled back, in, they ended back in 1920. Mm -hmm. They were never published until 40 or somewhere around there, and then finally ordered 58 or something. And there's such a stumbling block for it, because it becomes for some people like a new Bible. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. But the reason why it becomes for, like, for people like a new Bible is because people are constantly looking for their being. Like, there's this perspective of truth that everyone has: is that, is that oh, I've found the truth, mm -hmm. and there is never anything going mm -hmm. to be beyond this truth, mm -hmm. and that is certainly not the truth. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Obviously, if there's an infinite God and an infinite universe, there must be an infinite amount of truth. And therefore, for me or anybody to state right at this moment that you know it all, you are straight away in error. Yeah. Um, as soon as you say you know it all, you are straight away in error because there's no way you know it all. There's only one being in the universe that knows it all, and that was the creator of it all. Mm -hmm. and, and so, in the end, we need to come to see the qualities of truth, and one of the qualities of truth, and that's why I wrote that material on the qualities of truth. One of the qualities of truth is that truth is infinite. So if you get involved with any form of religion or any form of worship or any form of New Age doctrine or all these other things where they say that, they, that this is the entire truth and there is nothing above it, straight away understand that they do not understand one of the qualities of truth. Mm -hmm. And that is that the truth continues to be infinite. It sounds like a a living relationship that you're yeah. that you're bringing That's right. to us. Yeah. yeah. There and are many paths, right? Sorry. There are many paths. And there are not many paths. No. Don't confuse many paths with what I've just said. There is one path, but it is the, the there's one path to God, and that is the path God created to God. All other paths are just man's paths to God. What they think are paths to God. And some of them lead you closer to God because obviously many men have come up with some pretty good ideas. And so they do certainly lead you closer to God. But in the end, if you want to be at one with God, the only path you will be able to accept in the end is God's design for you. And without Diet Coke? Well, unfortunately, <laughs> it doesn't include Diet Coke. You know? yeah. and, and, and honestly, it doesn't include a lot of other things too. And there's a lot of things that in our lives that we currently have today that you'll find that you'll naturally feel like you don't need anymore as a, as a part of that path. But bear in mind that God designed it. All these other so-called paths are just paths that man designed. And honestly, there are literally six and something billion paths at the moment. Yeah. yeah, because almost every person on earth believes that what they're doing happens to be the right thing. There are over five thousand denominations of Christianity. Exactly. Alone. Yeah. Thirty-five. Yeah. Thirty-five thousand. Yeah. yeah, it's it's amazing. And so, like, the key thing to remember is that God designed a path for you to follow to God. Now you will discover and be on that path when you start connecting to God and receiving divine love and trusting the truth that flows as a result of that connection. All I'm doing is just telling you the truth about it, that's all. And, but a person can follow as many paths as they want. Eventually they'll come to see that there is in fact only one absolute truth, and that is God's. But what I know about that absolute truth at the moment is relative and will continue to grow. And what you know about that absolute truth at the moment is relative and will continue to grow. We don't know <laughs> the full truth about what God has done. But we do know, and there you is don't spirit. Know? No, nobody knows. Mm -hmm. Nobody knows the full truth of anything that God has done at the moment. Now, I don't know who... Because he's, he's, reasons, he's not finished doing it yet. Well, well, of course, that's one reason. But not only that, he, what he's done is infinite. And when you start contemplating from an emotional perspective what infinity really means, you'll start seeing that it's impossible to say that I know the absolute truth. All I know is relative to what other people know, really. 
and very much relative in terms of a very small part of what God knows. Right? Now obviously there will be people on earth who know more of that absolute truth than others. Just like there are people on earth who know more about engineering than others and people know more about science than others and people know more about quantum physics than others do and more people know more about emotions than others do and so forth. But that's a natural part of our life. God created that in fact because God enjoys the fact that we all have unique abilities. That's why he created you. You all have unique abilities that you will discover. And there are some people who have a unique ability to harmonise with truth. That's a part of their soul. And you can trust those people perhaps in your relationship with God. Try out, try what they say to you out and see whether it helps your connection. If it doesn't, then it obviously doesn't work.